Indonesia goes to the polls on Wednesday for the nation's most pivotal presidential election since the downfall of dictator Suharto. And the race is tight, with the two candidates offering voters a stark choice. Joko Widodo, better known as Jokowi, is famous for his humble origins and common touch. As Jakarta's governor, he was praised for tackling the city's public transport issues and extending health care and education for the poor. We're here to solve problems, not to create more problems. Jokowi is one of us. He looks after the plight of the small people. We've never had a leader like this before. Jokowi's rival is Prabowo Subianto, a former general under Suharto and commander of the army's special forces, which were notorious for human rights abuses. He's now a successful businessman, but plays up his military background. He's a firm leader. He will be a real change. He will ensure the country becomes a leader in Asia. If we get the mandate from the people of Indonesia, we will work very hard for all the people in Indonesia. Slowing economic growth and rampant corruption are two of the major challenges facing the next president. Jokowi promises he'll continue with the country's democratic reforms if elected. Prabowo's critics, meanwhile, fear he would take the country back to its authoritarian past. He clearly tells uh, democracy is just a tool, a means to an end, uh, but not necessarily a foundation. He talked about uh, election not being the, uh, the uh, being a byproduct of the West, and he also talked about returning to the old constitution prior to the amendments, which doesn't have the a complete list of uh, human rights and constitutional protection of citizens. Indonesia is the world's third biggest democracy. The country's 190 million eligible voters must now choose between two men who promise to take the nation in two very different directions.